In the process of creating plastic housings, sometimes we might want to add in ribs to improve the stiffness. So here we have a housing with an opening in the middle. There are also a couple of indentations which I will be using to demonstrate the power of using the web command to create ribs. Let's start by sketching out the ribs. I'm going to start a sketch on this face. When preparing a sketch for the web feature, there are two things to take note. The first thing is that we do not need to sketch close contours. We just need to sketch lines that represent the rib. The second thing to take note is that the lines do not need to fully extend to the edges of the housing. So instead of finding the edges of the housing to snap onto, you can leave the endpoints of the line freely floating in space. You also have the option of using arcs or splines. Exit the sketch. Go to Create Web. Control select the sketch lines. Type in the appropriate rib thickness. For the thickness option, you can choose either symmetric or one direction. For depth, I'm going to choose up to next. In this case, the extrusion direction is towards the bottom of the housing. The web feature will intelligently terminate against any faces it comes across. If we flip to the back side of the housing, you can see that the rib does not actually cut across the indentations. For the Extend Curves option, we want to keep this checked. This allows you to conveniently and quickly sketch lines for the ribs and Fusion 360 extends them accordingly. You can also see that Fusion 360 intelligently avoids the center opening. Let's see what happens if we change the size of the opening. Upon regeneration, you can see that the ribs adjust accordingly, leaving no gaps.